Well, hello, man caves, and we are back with our cola for the bonzer. So what we're going to do, we need to put the pulley back on, which I've made up. I've made a sprocket. Did all that off camera, because you wouldn't have agreed with any of it. But I've done it and made one. We'll get it back on, then I think we need to um see about getting some form of colour on this. Roll the credits. So, there's our cola, and as you can see, she's had a coat of red oxide. So, she's all primed and looking much better. Now, I made a pulley, because we needed a sprocket for our chain, didn't we? And everything. So, let me unmask my shaft, because you don't want a dirty shaft. Yeah. The pulley I made up is this. There's a sprocket I bought. And I done some pigeon shit welding. Right round there, I centred this up on the original boss. This was what was on the Echo Mower. And there was a big boss on here, which I unbolted with these three bolts. And I got this pulley, this sprocket, and I centred it. And I think I got it pretty good. So I centred it and welded it. So our chain will now go on here. You're going to say, why didn't you buy a 19 tooth half inch sprocket that had a, I don't know, one inch hole, a one inch bore? I'll tell you for why. I found one sprocket and it was 69 quid. 69 quid. Let me repeat that. 69 pound. This sprocket, brand new, with this taper arrangement, was £7. That's why I didn't buy one with a one-inch bore and decided to make one, because I knew I had a good boss. So, I am going to get this back on. For that, we need a little bit of oil on our shaft. There we go, we've got a little bit of oil on. Now, I think this pulley does actually go on here quite easily. She does. I think I've got to undo this. I think I need to undo this. Um. Oh, yeah, that's just into the thread. There we go. Right, let me get my keyway in. There we go. Ah, it goes in better that way, look. So we'll get the keyway in, get the pulley on. There we go. There's our keyway sticking out. Push that keyway in there level. And we can move this sprocket now. When we get it on the machine, this sprocket will move in and out. So we can line it up with our chain. Once our engine's in, and then it's a case of, oh, this thing got compression. <laughs> and then it's a case of just tightening these bolts up. To lock that pulley on that engine. There we go. Pulley is locked on engine. Ah. And here, guys, is our new chain. We have a lovely new chain in here. That split link is in the bottom. I don't want to lose that. So there, we have two meters of nice new half-inch pitch chain yeah which should go nicely round our sprocket there we go there we are look at that perfect isn't it till i drop it all there we go don't want to get him dirty so yes we have new chain new sprocket 
And yes, I did try that sprocket on the original Bonza chain. So we know that's right. So we can be putting this chain on the Bonza and getting the engine on it. I doubt we'll get the engine on in this video. But we'll do a bit more. Right, we'll be back when I've got this somewhere more suitable to, um, yeah, see if we can get some paint on it. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, Man Cavers, we are back at Man Cave HQ with our cooler, which you see us put the pulley on this morning. That's on. We are now going to give this engine its final coat of paint. There we go. So it's ready to go in the Bonza truck. Wire and plugs, cables, fuel inlet, HT lead. I've put the plug in. You're going to say, why didn't you take the plug out? So I don't really want paint going down the valve, going down the plug hole. We have done the exhaust. So what's left to do is get some colour on this thing. What colour are we doing it? You'll have to wait and see. Ha I know you guys love this thing. Let's see if she'll go. got enough air in the tank to give it one more here we go
was not meant to happen. Let's take two on that. There we go. Absolutely perfect. There we are. I think that is just about done. When we're in the machine, this is the only side we're gonna see. This side here. Because the engine cover's going to come this way and over the top. So the only bit we're going to see is this bit. And that looks absolutely fine. Ah! Time to clean the gun out. Reverse feed the gun by blocking up the tip and that blows all the old paint back through. We'll put some more thinners in the gun, put the lid on, hang him on the hook, ready for next time. And if you guys are wondering what paint I've used, well it's an old tin I had left over from about 2006 when I used to do proper paint spraying here but I don't can't you don't even know what color it is but it's some old Sally I've had if you can read the manufacturer and color on that label you're doing better than I can but there you go we still got half a liter of that left I think cobwebs so yeah that was just filtered and strained it was already pre-thinned for the sound oh, I didn't put no thin as well she sounded thin enough God knows what it was for, but it's gone on. Looks all right. As Derek would say, it's good enough for the girls we date. All right. Ah. Oh, she's looking good. There we go. Good old cellulose finish. We could have gone 2K. They didn't have 2K in 1958. We're gone, period. She's just had a light sand, a coat of red oxide out of an aerosol, no more prep, and a blow over. We're not going for a show engine. We're going for a very nice looking one. There we are. Ah! So that is going to be it for this video. We have got the cola painted, ready to go on the auto truck. 
considering the camera just fell over because the airline got snagged up on this bit of the tripod, which if you just flip open, there you go, it all fall over. Would you believe it? The airline caught my damn tripod end, causing it. Would you believe I've done it so up now, look. There you go, causing it to fall over. How annoying is that? <laughs> there you go. That's why camera fell over. Right, see you next time, guys. Bye-bye for now. Ah! Cooler. 10 horsepower.